Hello, my dear friends. I can burn everything. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. Maybe in that morning wind and snow wanted to destroy the castle. The wind was coming, yes coming so strong, that everyone can open their imagination and see the wind as a monster. In that morning, at this time I do not open eyes, but opened imagination and saw the wind like a big dragon who wanted to kill everyone in that old but beautiful castle. And the snow was coming so carefree. Maybe people think that carefree snow is good, but you need to think about others. When someone becoming carefree everything goes crazy. Everywhere was snow and it wanted to freeze everyone. No. It was not beautiful, the snow became something different. I started to remember my childhood. No, more correct will be if I will say, that I wanted to remember the winter and of course old snow. Maybe old snow sounds stupid, but when something gives you pleasure, it does not matter this thing is stupid or not. Everything stopped because of Vincent. Morgan, you need to come to the main hall. Vincent screamed. Richard wants to talk to everybody. Vincent, you always know how to annoy someone. I said. All right, go back to the main hall and say I'm coming. I opened my eyes and stood up. When I went in the corridor childhood memory had come back to me and it wanted to be with me, but wind sound scared me. The wind as a big dragon attacked the castle and give me another thing. It was a horror. I was thinking, that I became very weak because only a strong wind could scare me. Maybe the wind saw my thoughts and attacked the castle once again. This time the dragon was much stronger, but he did not scare me. And at this time next thought had come to me. I really was thinking that wind was attacking the castle because of me. Of course, I knew that creatures like me are a little bit crazy, but my thoughts and wind? No, in that morning really stupid thoughts had come to me. Maybe Richard already started talking? I needed to leave all things here and come to the main hall very quickly. When I entered the hall Richard looked at me and said. You are late. Excuse me, Richard. I apologized. I sat down at the table. In the big hall was only five men. Richard, Vincent, me and two others. Richard was the leader of our clan, and the other four were the main in the clan after Richard. Yes, I was a cool guy, one of the best. We are the chosen creatures. Richard started. In that world is any kind of power. There are science power animal power, and others, but we all are chosen because we have mystic power. I will say that Richard always loved to talk about such things. Mystic, occultism and such magic bullshit was for him, but right now he was talking about science power, magic power and what the hell was here happening? I never liked when Richard was talking about mystic. But right now he became some kind fanboy of the superheroes. Science power, what the hell Richard? Stop this stupid talking. The animals have animal power. Richard continued talking. People have science power and we have mystic power. Yes, werewolves are mysterious creatures. In the past, every werewolf knew that they were monsters. But Richard came and started to tell such things. Everyone loves good words and werewolves had chosen a new leader. Yes, the new leader was Richard and also he was a very good warrior. It is so stupid that good words can grow you so much, but wait. Suddenly I recalled myself. I was young and screamed. Richard needs to be a new leader. Yes. In the past I was among these werewolves, among all, but right now Richard's words were coming in my head and they have one answer from my side. It was stupid words. We are not mystic creatures, 
We are monsters. It is strange how the mind can change. Someone was wise in the past but right now is stupid. We can defeat all enemies very easily. Richard screamed. Everyone will ask, how? We have the answer, we all have the answer. Werewolves will use magic. Of course, I heard his words. Werewolves will use magic. Richard's bullshit reached another level. We are werewolves and can transform into a big wolf, we are not magicians which ones can use magic power. Yesterday I had a vision. Richard said. I saw werewolf and he told me what we need to do. A few minutes ago wind scared me. My mind said. You become weak. Right now I was listening to Richard and understood that not only me but the leader changed. He became some medium or something like that. It was so funny, very funny and I smiled. Richard surprised but continued talking and said that a few kilometers away from the castle was a big mountain. There was a cave and inside of the cave, we will find a weapon which can defeat all enemies. Bad thing was that human soldiers already knew about it and they were in the way. The plan was simple. Richard, Vincent and I would go into the cave. A group of werewolf warriors would attack human soldiers. Fifty werewolves went on their way. When I, Richard and Vincent went outside of the castle and started going, a strange feeling had come to me. Maybe I forgot something? Yes, I forget the fear of the wind. In the next moment, knowing had come to me. Why creature like me, which can be killed only with silver and fire needed to think and afraid of a stupid wind? Suddenly the wind attacked me. Maybe someone will say that wind attacks to everyone but I can swear that big dragon attacked only me. The dragon once again became angry at me and I screamed. Stop it. Immediately stop or I'll kill you. Richard and Vincent stopped and looked back. What happened? Richard asked. Are you okay? We continued going and Vincent said. The wind is so strong. Maybe he wants to destroy our castle, but Richard can defeat every enemy. We were three very interesting werewolves. The leader was some kind medium or magician, Vincent who trusted him and I werewolf which was talking to the wind and saying, that I can kill it. The way was even difficult for us, for werewolves. Every second was important. At any moment, someone could attack our small group. I remembered my wife. She always wanted to live peacefully and many times told me, that I did not need to go on Richard's road. In those days I was young and like every other werewolf, I wanted that my kind became a leader on that planet. In those days I wanted war and my desire was to win. Many years have passed and right now my desire is to escape from the past shadows. Escape of my wife's shadow which died because of me and many others, those who followed me. Quickly, they are coming. Richard said and we ran in direction of the trees. We hid in the forest and began to wait for the pets to arrive. I will kill them, Vincent said angrily. Calm down, Vincent. Richard said calmly. We don't need the fight. We are going to the cave. After a few minutes, we saw big werewolves. They were hunting. In my childhood we, werewolf kids were playing hide and seek. It is so amazing when you are a kid and need to hide in the forest full of snow. In the past, werewolves children hid from each other, but I could never believe that monsters like us would prey on us. It was stupid but sadly nostalgia came to me. In the past, I was hiding like that, but now in front of us was really dangerous hunters. In the past werewolves were some horror story characters. Everyone was talking about us. There were many movies and books about us, but in reality, 
no one believed that we existed. Because of this, we wanted the war. We wanted to stop hiding and went outside of the forest, but what happened? The movies were lying when they showed that after world destruction humans became weak. No, situations do not matter, humans are leaders in that world. The war happened between werewolves, humans, and mutants. It is funny that was a time when humans became werewolves and also a human has created a mutant. Everything started human and he is the leader. When the world destroyed and became one big winter, when the snow started to fall everywhere, humans adapted very easily. They built new cities and devised weapons. And we, werewolves are losing the war. Because of this many werewolf became human pets. They are living good but hunting on us. And now, in the desert of the snow, our brothers wanted to find us and kill. When they went away we continued to walk in the desert of snow. I looked right side and saw something. The shadow was following us, but wait, I need to recall. Now, the shadow was only following me. Every day and night, even when I do not walk and stand in one place, she still follows me and every time she says, dash go away and meet the death. She is my wife and wants revenge. I have not listened to him and she died in this stupid war. Of course, I knew that now she does not loves me and wants my death, but the world became so bad and my wife's words are so restful. Anyway, I had my duty and needed to do everything. There were only ten pet wolves and we are three strongest members of the clan. Dash Vincent said. We could kill them very easily. If right now we gonna stop and go back, I know that we gonna kill them all. Vincent our mission is to go in the cave. Richard said. I recalled how I wanted in the past to kill traitors. But wait, why only the past? Can anyone answer me why my every thought is in the past? Did I a great warrior and one of the leaders of the werewolf clan, became some stressed loser? I had not time for more thinking. We arrived in a mountain. And where is the cave? I asked. We are gonna find it. Richard answered. I was here many times, but I had never seen the cave. I said. Richard knows what he is doing. Vincent became angry. Richard knows what said some kind of ghost. I screamed. There is one thing. Is the ghost real or Richard had become crazy? Hey warriors. Richard said. We need to calm down and find the cave. We started a new level in Richard's game. One hour passed away and at this time we already were really high in the mountain. And we all saw the cave. Yes, like I said. Richard screamed. No, like Ghost said. I said and again Vincent became angry. We entered the cave. There was really dark but werewolves can see in the dark. It was a very long but simple cave. I had imagined some mystery cave with green fire and magic, but it was a very simple cave. We continued to walk, and the shadow returned. You gonna die, she said. Darling, you want my death but death is my strongest desire, I said. Who are you talking to? Vincent was surprised. I'm talking to my wife. I smiled. In the world where werewolves became pets, magicians, mediums and like that thing I can talk to my wife. Vincent nothing answered. At this time something hit Richard and our leader fall. He was all bloody. Transformation. Richard screamed and we all transformed into Big Wolf. I saw a long tentacle which was coming from the dark and it wanted to hit me. I also saw the creature. It was mutant, who had human form but had one big eye and many tentacles. 
We were trying to defeat the mutant but a one-eyed guy with his long tentacles was very good attacking us. One-eyed was fighting smart and does not close the distance. Of course on silver and bullet can kill the werewolf, but if some kind of freak with long tentacles will hit you a million times your regeneration will stop and death would come. I had fought many mutants and defeated everyone, but one-eyed was freak of the new kind. I never had seen such a strong mutant. Finally, I tried and maybe attacked the mutant not quick. Because of this many tentacles hit me, but I was tired and really did not care anything. I just wanted to end this stupid mission. Very quickly from werewolf I became a bloody wolf and in one moment my mind really said, that it ended, one eyed will tear me apart, but the pain was gone. I closed the distance and with one strong hit finished the mutant. Because of my strong hand, the mutant had learned to fly. After that, I fell. Morgan, you're some crazy werewolf. Richard wanted to help me. You are an annoying person but we love you because of this. Vincent smiled and helped me to stand up. Regeneration helped me and we continued walking. After 15 minutes we heard a child cry and saw the baby. Richard picked up the baby and said. This is magic werewolf. He will save our kind. I was surprised and asked. Richard, please don't say that this baby is some kind werewolf tentacle monster. What the hell are you talking to? Richard was surprised. One-eyed tentacle mutant was defending the child. I answered. Maybe one-eyed was his mother or father. Stop talking stupid things. Richard became angry. We needed to get back in the castle and a simple plan's new part has begun. On the way, I recalled that in the morning I was thinking about old winter and snow. Then the snow was so nice and beautiful, but everything changed. Then winter knew when needs to come and when it's time to go. But now the snow was coming and coming. Winter wanted to be forever and create such big ice which froze everyone. When we came back in the castle one tired warrior said. The mission was very hard. There was a big group of human soldiers and they had super modern weapons. They destroyed our group. Only I survived. The poor warrior cried. We, three leaders of the clan entered the main hall. Two leaders and 47 warriors are dead. I said. In this castle were 80 werewolves. Now there are 31 wolfmen. Our clan will extinct and everything because of this mutant baby? Morgan. He is werewolf not mutant. Richard screamed. Yes, I knew that humans will kill our group but we all needed this baby. We needed to stop humans. They came here for the baby. Stop talking stupid things. I was angry. And at that time I heard some creepy sound and everything became dark. From the dark came out giant ghost werewolf. In the hall was dark, but the giant werewolf was much darker. He had shiny red eyes and giant white teeth. I himself was a monster never afraid of the other creatures like me, but the first time in my whole life I scared of werewolf. He was terrifying. Leaders of the clan. Giant werewolf said. This child is magic werewolf and he will be very strong. The boy will save our kind. I did everything. Richard said. He was very happy. I saved the baby and we gonna teach him how to fight. And our clan will be saved. Giant werewolf said and disappeared. Happy Richard said. Yes, leaders of the clan, the battle is just beginning. I just smiled and went to the door. Morgan where you are going? Richard asked. I looked back and answered. I'm leaving the castle. But Morgan right now is not time to go. 
Richard was surprised. I was right. We are magic creatures, not monsters. We have our helper and magic child which one gonna defeat the humans? When father said to me, hide and seek is gone, because now you are big. The nostalgia first time came to me. After this, I had married and like others begin the preparation for a great battle. In the battle, my only love has died and the world became desert of the snow. I was fighting in that snow with humans and mutants. Life has many parts. When one part ends the second one starts. But the problem is that our past becomes necessary because we love old things. As I said, I had many parts in my life and when one of these was ending, the nostalgia of the past was coming. Now a new part is beginning. Now is the time of werewolf ghosts, wizards, and chosen babies. This is too much for me. Very soon we will defeat the humans. Richard was continuing talking. Everything is very good, but I don't care. I answered and opened the door. After this, I went away.